everybody, this is Julie with ReadySetStamp.com and today we're going to make this darling little box card from SVG Cuts. And I love it. It's a little golf cart. It's perfect for a guy. It's part of their Father's Day collection, but if you just change the sentiment, then um, you can make it be for anything. So this one says HB29 and holding for happy birthday 29 and holding. And my boss loves to golf, so I thought this was perfect for him. The stamp set that I'm using here is from Scrappy Moms. It's called Hooray for Birthdays. So I use this HB and the 29 and holding. And then for the one that I'm going to be assembling today, rather, see this one I ran through the um, embossing folder here, the Argyle embossing folder. So rather than do that, with this one I didn't run it through. And then what I did was just stamp the word happy birthday with the Cards TV going in circles. So let's get started assembling this right now. The trick to this is make sure that your cart, when you have your cart, have it pointing, the steering wheel pointing to the left. That is the easiest way for me to tell you this and putting this together because I did it a different way and you'll see here, like you can't really see my boo-boos, but you can see if I lift this up, that isn't supposed to be there and neither is that. But um, I did it wrong. But if you just remember the cart steering wheel goes to the left when you're assembling this, it'll really help you. So there's a little tip there. So let's get started. I've done a lot of the assembling parts here. This is a gray part that goes on the back. And then the brown part I did. And then the two white accents are this piece here and this piece here. So let's get started and just gluing this on right now. Okay, I've got that adhered. And what I like about it is that there is holes all the way through this. So if you want to add brads or anything like that, but it's also a really nice guide to help you make sure that everything is centered when you're putting your um, glued item on top of the base here. Okay, so you definitely want to glue on all these little pieces here. It just makes it easier before you start assembling the actual box, including like I glued on the little brown tee and the white balls, and then I did this the same way, and then I put together the little um, caddy, but I added the extra little pieces here, and of course you could have done the caddy in a different color, but I just ran it through an embossing folder, and then there's this little flag. So um, I'm just going to glue this to the back because it's easier to glue it now to the back than when you've got your box assembled. And this box is a little bit different than your normal box card. It still works the same where it folds down flat and all that, but it is a little bit different. So, and then I've got some gluing tips. This one fits on there nicely like that, but these will poke out of the top. So don't put glue on the tips of these. So that there's my tip on that. So only glue on, I'll call it the stem. So only glue on this part and this part here and here. And then the base, all of the base, because I'm all about the base. <laughs> okay, so now you'll just glue that right there and then you won't have glue popping out of there. So perfect. And you can tell I put the little white one on here. That's where you're going to write. So how this goes together is I'm going to add a little bit of glue here and I, I'm going to try to hide this into here. I should have thought of that beforehand, but maybe I can lift this up just slightly here. I like to tuck mine in. So let me see if I can get it. I think I can actually. That's good. A little more. I just don't want to tear it. <laughs> Okay, so if I put that in there, scooch that in if I can. That looks great. Okay, that looks good like that. Now I'm going to add some more glue to really make sure that this goes down, that I've lifted everything up. So I'll add a little bit of glue here and just kind of hold everything down so I can get it all nice back in place there. That looks good. Nice thing about this um, Scotch Quick Dry Glue that Roxy Fur recommended to me. Um, it dries really quick and I love that. So here's what I mean by the steering wheel going to the left hand side and then this will go together here so then your flaps will be on the outside. I did it before and my flaps were on the inside and so lesson learned. So learn from my mistakes guys. And I should have watched SVG Cuts does such a really detailed video. So if you really want a detailed video on how to put this together, I'll link the, it below because they're amazing. And of course, their camera equipment is just off the hook amazing and all the detail that they can get because they have such a good high quality camera. 
um, and expensive recording equipment. So anyway, uh, I will link that there so you can also see that one. So I'll just hold that in place just for a minute. So there's the box. See, so it's different than the box that we're used to, but it does fold nice and flat. So it goes like that. And then the pieces that you'll see here, they're numbered. This has a number one. I don't know if you can see that, but it does have a number one on it. So that's great. You fold them both inward. And this is going to go flush up against the inside here. So I'll show you what I mean by that. You're going to put this in here, and this is literally going to go flush up against the back of this. Just trying to tuck that in here. Okay. Trying to push it back up against that. I'm going to hold that one in place, and I'm going to do the same here. Put that flush up against this one, and still hold it, because I still need to try to glue it and hold it all in one fell swoop here. So let's see. That looks good, and I, I do like to bend it at the same time, because I just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Okay, that's good. And then I'll bend it on that side, just make sure that I've glued it all properly. Now we're going to do the same thing, and this one is labeled number two. So I just put this one flush up against the back of this one. Or maybe I won't put it exactly flush up. So I've got that glued in there, and now you want to bend it. Make sure that it's all glued and going to fold properly. Your card is. Isn't that so cute, though? Oh, I think it's so adorable. But this is my completed card. I just love it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and definitely give this one a try. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.